There, found one. Oh, he just went down. Nope, oh, there's his board. <laughs> I got a video of that. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today I want to talk to you about the Sony HX80. This is a pocket travel zoom camera that I've had for just about a year and I am selling it to a friend. Just wanted to make an update video about it before I before I no longer own it because I have used it quite a bit but I haven't been using it much since I got my new GoPro and I use this mirrorless camera a lot for all my studio shoots. So I thought, well, he's looking for a camera. I might as well offer this up to him and then I can maybe get something else down the road. This is a very powerful little camera, a great budget option if you're looking to increase the quality of your videos and have a bit more versatility in them besides shooting on something like your phone. The big selling point of this camera is that it has a 30 times optical zoom and it's actually a really nice lens. It's got optics by Zeiss and it's got the Vario Sonar T coating on it. It is an excellent lens and it zooms really far. So that's full optical zoom. Here's a shot of my face. Watch how far I can zoom in on my face. Still optical. It's got great reach. The other interesting thing about the HX80 is that it has an electronic viewfinder. Very unique set of options with this. It also has a selfie screen. Both rare options in Sony land. Overall, I've been quite impressed with it. I had waited for the prices to drop. When they first came out, they were around $500, and then they dropped to $400, and I think I got this one open box for $300 last year. It might be something that once I no longer own it, I might regret not having it. I decided to offer this one up to my friend because it does have the newer specs and the better technology and you have a lot of sentimental value to my other Sony pocket zoom camera, which is the HX50. This is an HX80 and this is the HX50. This is how much they've slimmed down over the years. The 80 to the 50. The 50 was a really good build quality machine. It has a lot more physical dials and buttons on it. It also has a hot shoe mount, which they got rid of. The things they no longer have, so going from the HX50 to the HX80, we lost a couple of dials, lost the hot shoe mount, um, gained a selfie screen, gained an EVF, as well as none of these are touch screen. This one also has a fixed screen, but it, ha but it has a very similar reach. This one is also a 30 times zoom lens, a slightly different branding. This one is a Sony lens, a G, not a G Master, but a G. Uh, F specs are 3.5 to 6.3, and this one is 3.5 to 6.4. They both have similar size sensors. Pixel wise, this one is 20.4 megapixels on the HX50 and HX60, and on the HX80 and HX90, it is a 18.2 megapixel sensor. Probably in an effort to increase the low light sensitivity. The only other mod that I've done to this camera is I've added um, some microphone muffles, which I should do to my old one. Since I am going to be keeping the HX50 and selling the 80, I just wanted to, uh, to show you what this is like. Physical controls are all very good. Fairly standard stuff. On the Sony's, the intelligent auto mode is very good. This one is for low light auto. The green auto is really good. And that's why I think I tried that on the Canon and it didn't have as much success. Um, Sony's intelligent auto program is very, very good. I just wanted to say I do recommend these cameras. These are small sensor cameras, uh, point and shoot cameras, but they have extremely awesome lenses. And so any of the Sony pocket zoom range, the HX series of Sony's are all very good. There's only one little weird downside that I don't like about the HX80 and HX90, and there's now even a new HX99. The HX99 looks exactly like this HX80, uh, but it adds the newer sensor in it that can do 120 frames a second at 1080p. The one really bad design of this unit is that it has the micro HDMI port on the bottom right beside the tripod jack. So that is ridiculously stupid that you put a tripod jack on, it completely blocks that port. Selfie screen is up if you do the, uh, the EVF you know, then that blocks it. That's not as big of a deal as <laughs> this is to me, but most of the time you're not using this port, but from a exposure issue, like maybe put a piece of tape over it or something, just to, uh, if you're gonna be in the wet, because having that port exposed is pretty dumb. Other port selections are 
a micro USB on this side for recharge and for data transfer, or you can use the NFC uh, reader on here. This does have Wi-Fi and NFC, and the difference between the HX80 and the HX90 is that the 90 adds GPS. That's it. That's the only thing that I'm aware of that's different between them. Now, this is the HX50. Now, the HX50 does have GPS in it, but in order to keep cost down, in the newer models, they did strip it out. Okay, so let me just show you some quick clips of this that I've taken over the years of some of the extreme zoom ranges that you can get. The quality that you can get out of these cameras is really darn impressive. lost it. It's quieter in mine because my, my props are all chowdered. I'm at max zoom and you're already booking her away. I'm above where your leafy probably might be. <laughs> yeah, you're already just a speck in the sky. You're gone. So if you're in the market for having a pocket camera, really do recommend these. These are my go-to cameras that I recommend to people is the uh, look for a compact travel zoom. Most of the time you do not need the quality of something with a one inch sensor like an RX100 or a G7X. And these are half the cost of those cameras. They produce very good results and you have incredible reach with that lens. It, it is very impressive on what you can get with the 30 times zoomed lens. So I've taken this one on a couple of vacations. I got some really awesome shots with this. It made a lot of the videos on my channel between 2014 and 2016. And, uh, and this one I got just because I had always wanted to get one. And now I just find myself not using it as much. So I'm going to let this one move on and uh, we'll pick up some new stuff in 2019. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, or you learned something, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. in the clear now, he seems far enough out.